honestly, guys, I, I am disappointed in, in the results. Uh, but as I look around the room and I see how much time and treasure and talent that everyone in this room put in in this race, it is really humbling. It is humbling to know uh, the support you guys gave me, and it's just a little, you know, a little gut punch that I can't deliver it for you. Uh, we we knew what we stood for. We knew what we were working for, uh, and I thought, you know, with we were getting our message out, but obviously we didn't get our message out to enough people. But it is really, tonight is about thank yous. And I don't want anyone leaving here feeling that you didn't participate in the greatest country in the world, our democracy, to go out there and argue and talk and fight on behalf of a candidate who you know, wanted to do well. That's what this country is about. We choose our leaders. Sometimes we don't, uh, you know, we obviously everyone doesn't win, uh, but it is still a great system and it exists because of people like you. So there's a lot of thank yous uh, I could do, but I'm, you know, I, I, I want to start out with just saying thank you to all the volunteers, the endorsers, the supporters. It, it's, it's, it's extremely humbling to see how hard you guys work. Uh, I want to thank uh, Senator Rob Portman and Jane Portman. Jane came all the way up from Cincinnati for us tonight. Thank you, Jane. <laughs> Governor Mike Twine and Fran Twine, who I'll reach out to you later. Now, let me just let me just talk about that. You know, getting their endorsement was politically helpful, and I think as the night goes on, we're going to close the gap a little bit. But personally, as somebody who you know, wants to be in public service because I believe it is, you know, it is a calling. It is a calling to serve others. And to have the quality of a Rob Portman and the quality of a Mike DeWine to look at this race and say they're willing to put their years of experience behind me. You know, it's a sad loss tonight, but it's a personal pride that Rob and Mike DeWine reached out for me. So. Thank you, Jane, very much. It is something I will carry with me that I earn those two supports so, and your support. Thank you so much. <laughs> and look, there was a great team. There is a great team. Uh, and I don't know if we're all around here right now, but I do really want to say thank you to uh, my team. Uh, I cannot tell you how hard they worked. Um, you know, we worked really, really hard just to get the results that we got. Um, so I, I can't tell you how proud I am of all of them. And I, I want to name everyone by name, uh, but I'm afraid I will forget somebody. Oh, I just had a chance to talk to them personally, but I, I am going to make sure that one person uh, gets her applause. Where's Kathy? So Kathy, look, this, this is hard because I know what I'm about to say is really true and that's why it hurts so much. You know, when we got in this race, there were a lot of people who really hoped I was going to win. And then there's another group that thought I could win. But I am so proud that I chose Kathy to lead this race because like me, she knew we could win. But we came up short. But we didn't come up short because of the team, the effort that you led. So thank you very much for putting together a great team. For all you have. So I, uh, I didn't prepare these remarks <laughs> tonight. I had other remarks prepared, but thank you everybody. Uh, it's, it's a great country. Uh, you don't always win. Um, personally, you know, I'm glad I'm a state senator and next Tuesday I have a whole lot of meetings to help continue to make Ohio a great place to live and I will serve out the remainder of my term working really hard for the people of Cuyahoga County and the 24th Senate District. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, everybody, for coming.